okay so let's take a look at how you can use asset store in gdevelop so first thing make sure to download gdevelop and then install it so basically you just run the exe and make sure to also create one project within that okay so i have created project and also added one main scene okay so whenever we want to add object we make use of object from scratch okay so if you want to use pre-made assets so you can click on this asset store okay so here are the categories of the asset that you can use okay so let's say for example if you want to use backgrounds right or you can use let's say specific game backgrounds right it also contains audio and generic background packs okay right so what we'll do is we will simply take a look at one of the category which is let's say particle right so what we'll do is we'll simply drop one of these into the game okay so select simply that particular object and click on add okay now what we'll do is we'll add one tile sprite okay now let's put it as background Right. Now let's simply drop it here. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll add our particle effects to check how this particular pre-made asset works. So we'll drop one here. Okay. Now let's run this. Right. You can see just burst out so this one the basic explosion you can try a few others let's run this okay so the way your asset store works is you simply use add new object and then click on search asset store then choose the asset category from the left hand sidebar and then choose to use that and click on add to the game and it will appear in your object sidebar okay you can also remove it from your game simply by right click and delete Okay, so if you want to save your time for some of the particle effects or music or any other free asset then you can use asset store for this okay so you get the idea how to use asset store in gdevelop